Hello, follow your gut spring 19 detoxers. This is Sunday, the day before day one of our five day detox. And I thought I would just come in and show you my everyday smoothie. This is what I've been doing for years in the morning. I give you lots of suggestions on what to eat for breakfast, but this seems to be a pretty easy thing to do. And so I'm just gonna go through this. I have other videos like this, but I'm doing this just for you guys. So. Here's how I start out, and when I say everyday smoothie, the reason I call it that is literally stick to the guidelines as far as what you can't have, and then go from there. But I always start out with frozen blueberries and banana. They're in here. If you don't like banana, that's fine. Blueberries are amazing. Um, they're the best berries probably. Um, and they're frozen, makes the smoothie a little bit cold, and you buy them the best ones you can find and keep in your freezer, and that's easy. So after that, I put in that's what I do, um, some cleansing vegetables. And here I've got cucumbers. And you can see I didn't peel or anything, they're organic, and organic celery. And they also go in. And as much as you like. Okay, start out wherever you are. And then the greens, any kind of greens you want, you can mix up your greens, add multiple greens, stick to one green right now. I am just gonna do spinach, organic spinach, that much. Alrighty. And then I've got some fresh turmeric and fresh ginger here. This is what they look like. If you don't know what they look like, turmeric looks a lot like ginger and you can buy it now pretty easily in the higher end groceries like Whole Foods and Earth Fair and places like that. And I just cut off a little knob, both of them. I don't peel them or anything and I drop them in. And when I buy organic vegetables, I don't usually wash them unless there's dirt caked on them. Um, just that's what I do because it feeds the biome if you've been reading my post. I take a wedge of lemon Skin on, organic lemon, and I also put that in there to freshen up because lemon actually makes everything taste better. And here is cinnamon, anti-inflammatory. Just sprinkle some cinnamon in there. And then I've got a little bit of um, cacao powder and I sprinkle a little bit of that in here. And I've got some hemp seeds, hair hearts, and a little bit of there. That's what's your discretion. Just make a smoothie that you will drink. That's what's important. And today, since it's Sunday, I've got a keeper, and it does have dairy in it, okay? The ingredient here, so I'm always telling you guys ingredients, organic whole milk, live and active cultures, and it names the cultures. That's all that's in here. Tomorrow, it will be coconut kefir, or coconut yogurt, or kombucha, or something with live cultures um, that does not have dairy in it. Today is Sunday, and I can tolerate dairy, so I'm gonna put a little beekeeper. Remember I told you on a fermented food, you don't have to have very much? So just to repopulate the gut, so that's how much we've got. Then I'm gonna take filtered water and put in the desired amount and get my blender over here. Any kind of blender. I'm at the beach house right now, so this is the blender that's here. And on you and your blender. Vitamixes tend to really pulverize things. This blender is a kitchen aid. It does a pretty good job. And you can blend it as long as, you know, the consistency that you like. This made two glasses. And I have my lovely niece here and she's going to drink one, she claims. So that is the everyday smoothie that you can make every day. Um, if you don't want to do muesli or the things I suggest for morning, you just got to get out the door. Um, you can make it the night before if that's easier for you. So as we go through these five days, I want you to treat yourself really nice and be prepared. Alrighty, talk to you later.